Hey guys, fishing and stuff. Today, I got 10 ammo box hacks for you, and they pretty awesome. I really think you're gonna like them, so stick around. Today, we got 10 ammo box hacks that are pretty dang sweet. And they're all really simple DIYs, so I believe you're gonna like them. And speaking of DIYs, if you haven't been on my channel page before, go over and check it out. I got a long list of DIYs that'll help you save some money. And if you see something you like, click subscribe and click the bell so that YouTube will notify you when I post videos and you can watch them. So let's don't waste any more time and let's get into these ammo box hacks. All right, so today I'm doing a video on things you can do with ammo boxes and there's some pretty cool hacks on here the ammo boxes i got i got from harbor freight they're all brand new ammo boxes but if you want to go to an army navy store you can get the real thing or you can go on amazon and they have any color or any size ammo box you can think of on there you're just gonna have to pick out your ammo boxes according to what you're doing with them well let's go ahead and get this show on the road so ammo box hack number one now this ammo box hack is pretty cool it's a harbor freight ammo box and i bought an ammo can organizer off of amazon and what you can do with this thing it is the exact same size as your ammo can and it comes with three trays so basically it organizes your ammo box for you and what you can do after you get your trays filled up you just stack them in your ammo box one at a time and then you got yourself an ammo can tackle box you know that's cool right there that right there is cool ammo box hack number two on this next ammo box hack i'm gonna make a portable power station which some people do it for boats but it's really awesome for bank fishermen and what you'll need is one of these little gauges and i bought this off amazon that wasn't very expensive i'll leave a link to it in the description box if you want one but we're gonna have to mount this into the ammo box i thought about mounting it on the top but if i mount it on the top every time i open the door it's gonna pull these wires so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna mount it on the side right here and you're gonna need a kayak battery i call them kayak batteries all they are is small deep cycle batteries people use them for deer stands kayaks this is not like a motorcycle battery for cranking this is a deep cycle battery that you can recharge over and over and over and i'll leave a link to one of these in the description box but if you want to find one, go online and just put in kayak battery and it'll pull them up. The first thing we need to do is we got to take these off because that'll expose our plate. And we can take our plate and draw out where we need our holes at and get them drilled. Alright, so after I took them apart, I just laid everything out like this. That way you can remember how to put it back together, but it's pretty dang simple actually. Even on the back right here, it has a positive and a negative symbol, so you'll know which wires to hook into which one. When you do something like this and you're taking stuff apart, a good tip to remember, use your cell phone and take a picture of everything before you start taking it apart. That way you can remember how to put it back together again. Next, we got our ammo box here. We got our plate took off. You can lay your plate on here, draw out your holes, and then you'll know where to drill them. And after we drill them, we can put it back together again. So we got our panel installed, put the battery in, and I cut a pool noodle and put some here and put some here. And now the battery can't move around. One more thing I wanted to mention, 
When I drilled the holes out for these gauges, I used a step bit and it worked really, really good. But I did drill a pilot hole first, that way it went in straight and the hole was exactly where I wanted it. So try these step bits out, they work really good. And I got a video on how you can make a sinker with a step bit. Go check it out. The only thing we got left to do is to install our wires back on there. But before we do that, these little stripped ends, they came on the wire like that. I need to connect another one of these connectors on to it so we can plug them into the battery and get our power. And we'll be ready to rock and roll. Okay, so now you can see I got my wires hooked back up. Got my battery hooked to them and we got power. Actually, it says we got 12.4 volts. So now, if you're out bank fishing or something, if you make you one of these and your phone goes dead or anything goes dead, you can charge it back up again. You could also make you an LED light and run it off of this for nighttime fishing. These are the batteries to my camera and they're in the charger that camera right there we're gonna plug it into these two usb ports and we're gonna see if it works and it's working one last thing about this it would have been really cool if i would have added a switch on here and just run the main wire to it and out of the switch and back to the battery that way i could just cut this thing off because it stays on as long as it's plugged to the battery I didn't really think ahead for that. But what you could do is just reach in and unplug one of your wires and it'll cut it off. That's pretty cool right there. I don't care what you say. Ammo box hack number three. You know, I got to thinking, I did a bucket video a while back where I did 17 bucket hacks. And one of them wasn't really a hack, but I talked about how people use buckets to put their cast nets in. I also talked about how I always can get mine back in the box, but most people say they can't get them back in the box. It ain't easy. But I got to thinking, I wonder if we can get a cash net in an ammo box. Because an ammo box is a whole lot smaller than a bucket and it'll save you space. And I'm all about saving some space. So we'll take the cash net out of our box and then we're gonna see if we can get it in this ammo box. So yeah, it actually fits in there pretty nicely. And we got some room left over so i'm thinking we might could get it in a plastic ammo box even it is bigger than this little box that came in yeah uh it worked <laughs> you can cram it in the little one but it fits in the bigger one better but this is just a six foot cast net so if you use a eight or ten foot cast net you're going to need the metal ammo box or one of these tactical boxes from harbor freight which are a good bit bigger. But that there ain't a bad idea, and that's a space saver. Ammo box hack number four. I got this aluminum leftover from a planer board video I did. It was pretty cool, go check it out. I marked me a couple lines here and here, and those lines are the width and the length of this ammo can. After I get those cut out, then I'll figure out the height I need. But there are several ways you can cut this. You can use a cutoff wheel. You can use the bandsaw, like the one that I made on a video. But I think I'm gonna use a jigsaw. So we got our two pieces of aluminum cut now. I went ahead and cleaned them up because I'm gonna need them clean for what I'm doing. But as you can see, they're the same height. The only difference is the length. This small one here, it's the width of an ammo box. And this bigger one here, it's the width of it, and it's the same height as the small one. Next, I'm gonna cut a slit right in the center, about halfway down on this one, and about halfway up on this one. And I'm gonna center them, like I said, just a little over halfway. And for that, I'm gonna use the jigsaw again. got our aluminum done we cut a little over halfway through it actually 
my blade wasn't as wide as the material was thick so i took some of these files right here i got me a thin one and i opened it up a little bit with the file so they would fit together and now the only thing i got left to do is put them together all you do is slide them together i'm gonna have to use a hammer and tap on it a little bit once you get them together you got yourself a divider a divider for your sinkers and measuring it to the ammo box it should fit right in there <coughs> That's pretty dang cool right there. If you want this thing more solid, it's got a little bit of play in it, but once you get the sinkers in it, it don't have any. But if you wanted it solid, you could take some of these brazen rods. I just did a video where I took brazen rods and I made a fishing stand out of it, and the stuff turned out to be pretty dang strong. But you could take brazen rod and heat this up and run a little brazen rod down the side and it make it solid. Trust me, it would make it solid. This is the piece I never did get broke. That stuff's pretty tough. This aluminum well braze actually helped way better than I thought it was going to. Made a pretty good rod holder too. Something else you could do, you could take some olive green paint and paint your divider to match your ammo box. Now we just need to put some sinkers in there. Yeah, this thing holds a lot of sinkers. I don't believe I'm gonna be filling this thing up because I don't know if I can carry it. Now while I'm on the subject of this sinker box, I got a buddy, Hagen Grubbs. He has a YouTube channel too. It's called Hagen Grubbs Fishing. Normally he teaches people how to fish and catch bait, things like that. But he just did a sinker box video and it turned out pretty awesome. So if you're interested in the sinker box, go over and check his out. I'll leave a link to his video in the description box below. Hack number five. I don't know if you priced them lately, but the price of grills have got high. And I'm talking about the little miniature grills like you take camping or you can take fishing and cook you something to eat. So we're gonna make us a grill out of an ammo box. These ammo boxes are solid steel and they're pretty heavy duty, so I think it'll last a while. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drill some holes across the bottom because the fire's gonna go out if we can't get oxygen to it. Also, for anybody that didn't know it, these lids on these ammo boxes just slide off. You just pick it up kind of halfway and it pops right out. Now that we got our little breather holes for our fire, I was gonna make a great and I had some of this rod left over from a rod holder video I did. But I was going to cut this rod and I was going to make a grate go down in the bottom so that the charcoal doesn't burn the bottom up as fast. Well, everyone can't weld. And even though this would be a lot heavier duty, something that would work really good is if you had an old grill and you took the grate off of it, you could cut it to fit down in your ammo box. Then I thought of something else you could do. You know these shelves that you put in closets? I could cut a section of this out so it doesn't burn it up. I think that's what I'm gonna do because more people could do this. Well, we got a little shelf cut out. Now we can just stick it in our ammo box with a charcoal set on it, and it'll keep it from burning up the bottom as fast as it would if you didn't have one. Next, we're gonna need a grate for our grill, and this is expanded metal, and it would be ideal for our ammo box grill, but it's plain steel, so it's gonna keep rusting on you. But if you could get stainless steel expanded metal, that would be perfect. I actually went to Tractor Supply and looked around to see if they had expanded metal and stainless steel and they didn't have any. So I went to the scrapyard and looked around and I found this screen here. It's pretty tough and it's stainless steel so it's not gonna rust. And I think I'm gonna use this for my grill grate. So we got our little grate cut out. Next, I'm gonna have to drill four holes, two on each side, because I got four stainless steel bolts I'm gonna put in there to hold the grate up. We got our bolts installed now. All only thing we got left to do is put our little grate in there. That's pretty sturdy there. All we need now is some charcoal. 
We ready to cook some. An ammo box portable grill. That's just freaking awesome. Listen guys, before you use this thing, make sure you run a fire through it one time without cooking. Because if you don't, it's gonna make your food taste like paint. If you use one of these shells like this, you're gonna have to burn this plastic coating off before you can cook on it. Ammo box hack number six. All right, on this next ammo box hack, we're gonna make a filter. A lot of people use bait tanks on their boat and a lot of people have bait tanks at home where they catch bait and they take it home, keep it, so the next time they go fishing, they'll have something to use. On this ammo box hack, we're gonna turn an ammo box into a filter for a bait tank system. I got a couple of PVC grommets that are threaded and I bought a couple of nuts for those threaded fittings and I bought two O-rings. And this stuff wasn't that expensive at all. For this hack, we're gonna be using our step drill bit again. Works actually really good on these ammo boxes. We're gonna to need to drill a hole on either end. But first, I'm gonna take my fitting and I'm gonna use it as a template so I know how big to drill my hole. So next, we wanna take our O-rings and we wanna slip them over the threads on our PVC joint. That way when we tighten this thing up, that O-ring will seal things off so it don't leak. Then we're gonna take our PVC joint, we're gonna put it in the hole and put our nut on. Make sure you tighten these things up really good so they don't leak. Now we got our filter box made. I don't know if you know what this is or not, but this is the cheapest way to do this. This is pillow batten, and you can get it at the cloth section at Walmart or anywhere, Hobby Lobby. But if you'll take this stuff and you stuff your box full of it, after you get your box full, then you just close the lid. When your pump's pulling the water in from one side, it'll pull it out the other side and all the trash will stay caught up in that batting material. Well, you just change it out when it gets dirty and put you some more in there. And that's a really effective, cheap filter. Ammo box hack number seven. If you've looked them up or if you bought one, kayak battery boxes get really, really expensive. And what they're for is to keep your battery dry when you're out there in your kayak. And people need batteries on kayaks because they like to run depth finders. I run lights on mine. Me personally, I use a Hobie battery holder in my kayak, but they're not cheap. But on this hack, I'm gonna show you how to make a battery storage for your kayak. The first thing we're gonna need for a kayak battery box is a battery. These little seven ampere 12 volt deep cycle batteries are awesome. I got another video where I made a nav light. Those nav lights are awesome. And on the nav light build, I put this in my kayak box. But if you had a battery box, it would keep it dry if it started raining or something. But the first thing we're gonna have to do is we need to drill a hole somewhere in our box. And drill your hole kind of high because we're going to seal this, but if water does get in your kayak, it's a whole lot harder to leak being high. The next step, we're going to run our wire in. And I want to talk about the wire. I like using these two pin trailer connectors because they plug together easy and unplug easy. And while I'm on this subject, when you buy this, you're going to need at least three of them maybe four, depending on what you're doing. We're gonna need one for our kayak box. Then you're gonna need one for the light or the depth finder or whatever you're running with it. And me personally, I like to put one on my battery charger. That way I can just unplug my battery, take it out. I can plug this right into it and charge it back up. And I never have to take the battery out. And then we're gonna strip the ends of the wires off. And I'm gonna put some of these little connectors on it to plug into the battery. After you get your battery plugged in, I'm cutting some pool noodles and I'm gonna stick them in there. After you get your pool noodle stuffed down in there so your battery can't move around, then just take and fill up the hole with silicone and you ready to go. And you can just plug them in, easy peasy. Ammo box hack number eight. Now this ammo box idea right here, it's not really a hack, but this idea right here is very important. I like to keep an ammo box on my boat just for emergencies. And these small plastic ones is a good one to use because it's light and it's waterproof. See, all ammo boxes have these little rubber seals around them. So they're watertight. You can throw them in the water and they won't leak. 
You can keep a first aid kit in it. You can get you some waterproof bandages or some band-aids. You can get you one of these emergency blankets so you don't freeze to death if something happens and it's cold out there. You can keep an emergency poncho to keep you dry if the weather ain't too good. Something that's really good to keep in it is an extra flashlight because I can't tell you how many times I've left my house and forgot my flashlight at home. You can keep some paracord in it. I mean, you never know when you might need a little bit of rope. You can keep some pills in it, like if you get a headache or something. I mean, you can put Advil, Tylenol, whatever you use. It's just good to have an emergency box just in case there's an emergency. I mean, all jokes aside, that's a really good thing to have on your boat or in your truck if you're bank fishing because Stuff happens. Ammo box hack number nine. Now, something else these plastic Harbor Freight ammo boxes are good for is organizing your soft plastics. I mean, you can put the full packs in there or you can put little packs in there, but they'll hold a lot of them and they're not any higher than some of those Plano boxes, but they're a whole lot tougher than a Plano box. Now that right there is awesome. Ammo box hack. Number 10. Now, ammo box will come in handy for keeping you some extra tools in. And basically, you're making it into a toolbox because things go wrong on the water all the time. I mean, your boat could break down or you might have a bearing go out on your trailer or whatever. But see this hole right here? When you clip it down, the hole's right here. Well, you can drill a hole in your ammo box and they make a bracket that they sell online and it's just a bolt. After you drill your hole in it, you bolt that thing in there and you can lock this thing and keep it secure. And I mean, you could bolt a toolbox onto your trailer so you always got some tools with you. Or you could put it in your boat. But either way, you got a lock on it and it's secure. And while we're on the subject of toolboxes, Harbor Freight has this tactical ammo box. And it says it's for ammo, fishing gear, electronics, camera equipment. You get the picture. But this thing's pretty cool. It's a little bit bigger than a regular ammo box. Here's a 50 millimeter ammo box beside of it. It's a little bit bigger. But something I thought was cool about this thing, if you open it up, it's got a tray in the top like a regular toolbox has. So you could put your tools in this. You could keep an extra wheel bearing in here and you could throw your extra spark plug in here. But make sure you got your spark plug wrench or it won't do you a lot of good. But something like this could save your day on the water. Well, those ammo boxes turned out pretty dang awesome. Let me know what you thought about them by clicking the like button. And by the way, if you're not subscribed yet, then <laughs> what you waiting on? And as always, I appreciate you watching. And I'll see you on the next build.